I'll be honest. I wasn't sure what I was going to review this week. There were like five new movies coming out in theaters, and none of them seemed to grab my interest in any real way. But then I saw the movie that Netflix put out this week, and, well, given it is Mother's Day weekend, it seemed very fitting for me to review it. But before we get into the actual review, a quick reminder that I have in fact started a Patreon page. If you would like to have your name listed right here at the start of every video, and early access to certain videos, all it takes is a pledge of a dollar a month. Thank you, and now, let's get into the actual review. And I will die protecting her. The Mother tells the story of a deadly female assassin, played by Jennifer Lopez, who gave up a life of crimes and went into hiding after she became pregnant, giving up her daughter for adoption. Years later, her enemies find out where her daughter is and try to kidnap her, but the mother is there to protect her daughter no matter the cost. This, by and large, is a very standard, very run-of-the-mill action plot, but as I've said countless times beforehand, I'm not going to hold it too much against a film if it's telling a story that's been done before. What I'm more interested in is how well you can utilize your actual story. If nothing else, this film could have been a pretty standard, almost turn-off-your-brain kind of action thriller that's low commitment, you know, the kind of movie that you watch on a lazy weekend evening. But there's a couple of things holding it back from hitting even that low standard. The most obvious problem is the pacing. This is a movie that is almost two hours long to tell a story that easily could have been told with 30 minutes trimmed. The film's pacing gives off an aura that it thinks that it's more meaningful than it actually is. Some scenes linger for way too long, as if something genuinely insightful is happening, but it's really not. And the second and most unfortunate error comes with the mother-daughter relationship and how it's handled. This is the most important part of the film, making sure they got this 100% right. But these two characters have absolutely no chemistry with each other. I don't buy that Jennifer Lopez's character is this little girl's mother, and they probably spend a good 70-80% to 80 of the film arguing with each other, which is, yeah, that gets old after a while. And it also doesn't help that the girl is a genuine idiot at times. I get that she's a kid, but some of the decisions that she makes or the reactions that she has to things that have happened to her simply go beyond the pale. She does not act in a way that a real traumatized girl would act in her situation. So yeah, those things do hurt this film, and they hurt it a lot. But I also wouldn't say the film is completely terrible. It is shot well, the action's for the most part done pretty well. Jennifer Lopez is someone that I can actually buy as the emotionally detached assassin, and the story in and of itself isn't a terrible one in principle. But I also do kind of have to question its decision to release this as a Mother's Day film. And no, I'm not saying that just because it's an action film. Honestly, I can kind of see a bit of the mother empowerment message that they were going for. But the film does kind of get down and dirty in the muck at times. I'm not entirely sure that most mothers, at least as a Mother's Day film, are going to want to watch a scene of a pregnant woman get stabbed in the stomach, or a scene where a woman is very nearly raped. But, yeah, on the other hand, it is a film about celebrating motherhood, so I can kind of understand why they did it. And again, this doesn't really have anything to do with the quality of the film, it's just, it's something that I found a little bit odd. This movie was directed by Nikki Caro, the same woman behind the Disney live-action remake of Mulan. And with this film, I'm starting to worry that she has genuinely lost her way ever since Whale Rider and McFarlane USA. There is nothing this movie does outstanding, and it has its fair share of annoying moments that really start to pile up after a while. It's a movie that'll be popular on Netflix for one weekend, and then disappear never to be heard of again. The mother gets a very, very low half-empty shot. And I guess that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you want to see my early thoughts of any film I watch, or to read more of my reviews, make sure to check out my Letterboxd account. The link to that is in the description below, and make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss any upcoming reviews. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.